The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Louis. We're going to take a look at the E-mini S&P here over the last 10 trading. Whoops, it's more than that. The last three weeks of trading, I want to take this out of there. But you can see the big A, B, C, D pattern that I've drawn in here. It measured to 48.94. I said put the order in to sell at 48.92. I wanted to make sure I would be filled. And, of course, <laughs> it went four pence four points higher and I suggested to put a 10 point stop on it is what I suggested so that's how I was doing this now all this is is a combination of this large ABCD pattern now not not knowing anything else just look at some simple timing stuff folks if you go over here and see the low we made back here on January 5th okay you go over to the high that you made right there okay that was 86 hours of trading okay so all I want to do now is I would go over to look and take this low over to this level and see where you're going to be coming in. And it says you're going to be making a high somewhere around tomorrow is what it's saying. Now, remember, time is the most elusive, so we trade off a price. And so that's what we did with that trade. Now, if you think that I wasn't concerned about this when this was all happening is because what was happening to the Dow Jones? This is the one. Remember, this is only 16 stocks. And, of course, Softy was in there. Microsoft going absolute crazy to the upside. But here's the 15-minute chart on the YM going back to the 18th of January. And then you made a high on the 19th. Okay, that was Friday. And you come down in here into Sunday. And that makes seeing an ABCD pattern right here. So there's your A leg right here. There's your B leg right here. And there's your CD leg right here. And that comes in at 38,219. And the high has been 38,280. So it went 60 points higher than what we were expecting it to be. But the thing that's most troubling from a technical standpoint, from looking at the Dow Jones, is as you look at this on the long-term uh, daily, I know it's weekly, the long-term weekly, you're going to see that the 1.618 number that it hit one, two, three, four, five, six times was at 38.051, and we're already 165 points higher than that. And the ABCD on that big move measured to that number, 38051. So this is either an emotional blow-off type day or we're going to go a whole lot higher. Now, in order to look at the stock market, you have to look at the Dow Jones. You've got to look at the Russell. You've got to look at the NASDAQ and the S&P 500. So the next one we're going to take a look at here is the S&P. We're going to use the cash S&P because that way we don't have to make any changes. Uh, futures rolling over or anything like that. We'll get up here. This is the cash market. This is the weekly chart. Let me get it up here to see where we are. And we'll move this over just a tiny little bit. And you'll notice here that the uh, – hold on one second so I can see where the uh, number is. Go to the far left over here. You can see this level here was 382. This was the high in January of last year. Now, that was at 382. Now we're trading today. We're already at 383. Did we get to – we got as high as 385. So we took out that high, okay? But this is where we are. We've got this big ABCD. Now, all I'm going to do now is to move this over because this is what could possibly be happening here, and that's why I want to see it. You can see the ABCD patterns as we go up, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. So we're going to draw the last one in. There's your low right here. There's your high right there. So I'm going to mark that right here and see where you should come into. And you mark it off. Get it, hit it to it. Be exact if I can. Uh, it says it should come in at 387. And we, excuse me, 487. It came in at 45. And we still could go a little bit higher. So that's a possibility here. Now let's do the next one, which is the NASDAQ. And we'll go up here and take a look at the NASDAQ. 
And just give me one second here and we'll get it up so we can look at it and see. And believe me, folks, this is about 35 or 40 stocks that is doing all of this because it's uh, it's the ones that are the real expensive ones because they're they're weighted. OK, here we're coming into the NASDAQ. We're going to do the weekly on the NASDAQ and we'll get it up here. And here's the weekly on the NASDAQ. See, we've just made new highs here. And look where we are right now. I want to show you this last little swing right here because this is the one that we talked about in the newsletter. We had this A, B, C, D pattern coming in up here at around 17,600. Okay. The high was 17,585. We're 100 handles lower than that right now. We're going to get up and take a look at the hourly. You'll be able to see there's been a tiny bit of a sell-off, and this is a tiny bit one. So you can see here, this was the weekly number right up here. Now, we backed off just a little bit, still quite strong on the day, but really doing very, very little you know, uh, so far today. The fact that it's down a little bit, as a matter of fact, it's a bigger correction today than where we had right back here. You see this correction that we had that? You move it over. And look what's happened. You see, we're in a little bit below that level already. We made a larger correction way back here than we did here. That's why we think this could be a very, very important to tradable top is what we're looking for. So I hope that makes sense as we look at these things unfold here. So we've covered that. And the last one we want to cover here, let me turn these off because uh, we don't need them anymore. We've already covered them once. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648, and uh, this is Billy Ray Valentine Capricorn. Let's get up to Russell, and then we'll be in good shape here. All right, Russell, Russell is right underneath this one. There it is right here. So we're going to get the weekly Russell up, and you can see that Russell is up a little bit today. It had been down, even though we've been going straight up in the Dow. You see we had a little bit of a sell-off here. Now look what's happened so far today. This is the weekly chart, so we're going to go to the daily and see if that was, a fact, a 382. And I've already drawn it in, and as you can see, we did go above it. We went up to almost the exact 50%. That Instead of stopping here, we got up to the 50% level. It's down from the high, but this has still been the weak sister because when you look at this on the weekly, you know, this thing has been way down. We've never even made a 61% retracement on this that tells us that the market is a, a whole lot weaker than uh, you might uh, think it might be. But there's one other one that we need to pay close attention to, folks, because it's knocking on the door of a very, very, very big pattern, and that's our good friend, none other than the Lone Ranger himself. And we'll get this up and take a look at it. Clayton, what was his? Uh, Clayton Moore was the real original, uh, the original uh, 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 TV uh, Lone Ranger. Anyway, here's where we are. There's your A leg right back here. Okay, there's your B leg here. There's your CD, CD leg forming, so we're just going to mark it off. There's your A leg right here. There's your CD leg right here. And as you can see here, we're getting really close, folks, 2197. And we look at this on the long-term daily. And, uh, I believe it was the weekly. Yeah, the weekly. There's the weekly right here. We are going to be looking at this. This is if it has a chance to do this, but let me just draw it in on ABCD on the weekly and you'll be able to see this a whole lot easier because we are really close to it. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, so we're taking a look at silver here. This is the March silver weekly chart. And as you can see here, we had the ABCD pattern here. We rallied from 21 all the way up to 26 and then back. It did make an ABCD pattern on the way up. You'll be able to see this when we draw it in. Now, I want you to notice that you see the CD leg was expanded so much. Your first clue that it was not going to stop at D was right there. When you come out of point C like a rocket ship, that tells you you're going to expand that at least by 1.618. So if you mark that and just went up to change the CD leg, see you got your BC leg, A, B, C, D are equal, A, B, B, C. When you get to the CD leg, you just make that at 1.618, okay? And then you put it up and you'll be able to see that that it didn't, it went even higher. I guess it went to 127. Let's see. Let's put the 127 number in. And see, uh, I'm almost 100% sure it's 1414, but let's just put it in at, uh, we know it's not 1618, so it's going to be 141 square root of 2. So we come up here and put in 144, and that would tell you you're going to be exactly at the number there, 26309. Okay, now where do we go from here? We draw from 26. Three dollars a barrel, three dollars an ounce to 26, a 23, then up to the 618 retracement, and here's where we're coming. Now this is a weekly, folks. Go. This is a big one. So you got your A B leg forming here. There's your A, there's your B, there's your C. Uh oh, my battery saving is on. I'm in big trouble. Oh, I'm not even going to be able to finish the show. Ah, uh, shucks. Sorry, Al. Oh, man, I really missed. I don't have my power cord with me. Oh, do you have a power cord that might work? Probably wouldn't work with it, no, because it's a Dell. Yeah. Oh, Al, I'm in really trouble. I'm in big trouble, buddy. This little thing that looks like that. No, that's no, not it. Oh, wow. My thing doesn't say battery at all. Let me look over here. Look at this. We got. Uh, it doesn't even show the battery on this one here, but it says here I've only got. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to keep doing Anyway, here's where you want to be looking to buy the, the, the silver right down here around 2131. We want to double check the 78% level. Oh, man, I tell you, computer stuff. We hit the 78% level spot on today. 
at uh, 2204. Right now we're trading at 2228. Strong probability this could be a good bottom in the gold market. Now, if gold is going to uh, silver market, if silver is going to go up, we ought to look to see if there's anything similar happening in the gold. So let's come over here and we will come down and get to the gold market, which is right here. And you'll see where we were this morning. Now, remember, this is the same type of pattern that we're looking at. No more than AB equals CD. That's all we're watching. And you can see as we blow this up, this is just a 13-minute chart, but it covers the time from Friday all the way through Sunday and today. And you can see we made an A, B, C, D pattern right there on the bottom. There's your drive one, drive two, drive three coming in at 2018. The low on the gold was 2017. The rally back up right to the 61 uh, 382 retracement and now it's just backing and filling so this is one that we want to really you know keep a really really close eye on as we uh, start to see these things unfold here today and um, really I'm, I'm going to be in big trouble here because norm is going to come on and i'm probably going to be out of uh out of uh no I'll, i can't and that won't work i'll i'll get a uh We'll do we'll do what we can anyway. If nothing will happen tomorrow, if if anything doesn't work, but it looks like I've got about ten seconds worth of. Uh, and they told me that I had at least three hours at the old computer store, so I couldn't believe those guys anymore. Anyway, that's what we're watching. One other that I wanted to bring up to you, and that is the uh, crude oil. Now here is the same situation that we had in crude oil. You see the ABCD pattern that we have going on right now. It measures to 75.11. The high has been 75.46. Now, the reason why you think this is going to go higher is to look how it exploded out of here. It rallied a dollar a barrel before it even made any type of correction. That tells you that the BC leg is going to be at least 1.27. The CD leg, Larry. Try it again. The CD leg. So you're going to go up here, mark this off, take your seat. Ah, shucks. Just a second here. I'm a little flustered now that I think I'm losing so much data here. There's your CD. We're going to make that at 127, 127, and you'll bring up here, and it's going to tell you that you're going to go up here quite a bit higher to 7580, and look where that is. That's going to be the 1.618 expansion of that move, and there's something wrong here. But oh, here's the problem. You see how I went lower here? Uh oh, shut the front door. I didn't draw that in. Let me get that correct. Because that'll take you right up to the promised land there at the 1.618 level at 75.80, 75.91. Then you'd be right there. Now, we need to val validate that on the daily now because this is a big move. We've rallied in four days, folks. We've rallied $4 a barrel, probably due to what's going on. And there's, there's the number we want to be looking for. We're waiting for it. That comes in at 76.20. So between 75.80 and 76.20, and then we've got our old high back here at 76.18. So if it starts getting above that, uh-oh, I don't think it will. But if it does, and if it does, we're going to be paying higher prices for oil, looking at the way that it's looking right now. So that's another one. We've got a lot of things going on. And not only that, we've you know we've even got soybeans on the watch list, but they're uh, not they're slightly higher today, but still not quite ready to. Uh, quite ready to turn down. So that's what we're watching here uh, in the crude oil today, and we'll see what happens. Now, what's really beautiful about the crude oil, if you look at this on a four-hour chart, I want to get this up here. Uh, let's do an hourly chart, because that's what I was looking at last night. I can only get data. I can only get data for a very short period of time, and the reason for that, let me get this up here so we can see it here. The uh, easiest way would be the 30-minute chart, I believe. There it is right here, and this will show it to us. Here's the area that I was really interested in last night because this was a nice – remember, these are pretty big swings here in crude oil, but you can see the, the sequence of events here. You've got a beautiful three-drive to a bottom pattern right there. I'm going to draw that in. There's drive one, okay? There's drive two. There's drive three coming in right here. Now, if I can validate this – with a FIB number from over here, and you can see one very easily, which is right there. So you just take your marker, see what the retracement was, and there it was exactly <coughs> at 
right on the money and look where we're going you know we're, we're going higher folks look at this same thing see how it comes out of this point whenever you see this something like this or something like this or something like this that tells you just like we had in october the 28th and 29th and 30th in stocks crude oil is going higher as they say in the trade so let's take a break 877-927-6648 and stay tuned for the wizard mr norm winsky How will I know when it's dead? Will they just tell me you're fine? Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Yeah, hi folks, Larry Pesavento here with TFNN. I believe we have Norm Winsky in the house. Norm, are you there, my friend? Hello, Larry. Can you hear me okay? You're coming in good, Norm. If you miss me, just keep on talking because my computer is almost out of power. They guaranteed that I'd had three hours today. It's only been running for an hour here, and so I'm out of town. So uh, if you miss me, make finish up this show, and uh, we'll have you on again soon. But please continue right now. All right. Thank you very much. Hopefully you'll, you'll just stick with us, you know. <laughs> you bet. All right. When I was last on your show on January the 8th, 
I gave three forecasting dates. Uh, first one was the AC is after the close. That's overnight. We had a new moon in the sign of Capricorn. Anytime we have a new moon, we look at financials, grains, precious metals, oil, and because it was in Capricorn, we added coffee. Then the next night, the night of the 11th, we had a mercury cycle for any time we have mercury. We look at the grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. And then the night of the 12th, we had a uh, point to the U.S. natal chart. That means we look at U.S. things like U.S. stocks, T-bonds, and U.S. dollar. Let's look at the charts. So corn had a little bit of an upward bias here into our moon point. And as you see there, it made a nice top. Uh, here's uh, beans. Actually made a kind of a low there. Had a chance to make a small amount of money. Not not terrific. Uh, the wheat uh, was going on uh, these yellow boxes or or was going sideways, so we took a pass. Be and then here we had a little dip here for uh, wheat. Had a chance. Oh, that and that. Uh, oh, oh, the wheat. Uh, that was a miss because uh, you can see you could have lost money there. Uh, the measurement is: do we, were we able to have an opportunity to make some money uh, within one day of our date? Moving ahead here, here's coffee. Had a dip into our, our lunar point there. And if you bought there, you had a chance to make some nice money. It doesn't look that bit like that big of a deal due to the scaling, but it's actually about six handles, which is about $2,000. So there we go. And here's crude oil. It had a dip into the moon again. And that is a nice pop up there with about four handles, which is $4,000. Silver was going sideways over the past year. Silver has been hitting about 90%. I can show you that uh, if you would contact me on all these lunar dates. About 9 out of 10 times it was uh, a winner. Gold had a dip into the moon, and you can see it had a nice rally there. I think it was about $40, $50. That's $4,000 or $5,000 right there. And here's your S&P rallied into the moon for a top. It had a big down day. Came back up. And made another top there. You had a double top there on our Mercury point. Uh, it didn't work so well on the U.S. point, so we hit two out of three there. Uh, bonds were going sideways into the moon, but then they rallied up into our U.S. point. And you can see that that was a really nice top there. That was about uh, about three handles there, two and a half, three handles there. Every handle is $1,000. Here's the uh, dollar uh, dipped into the moon, and you had a nice, very nice low there. Look at that big rally. Uh, we were a little early here, so that was a miss on the U.S. point. Uh, here's your British pound rallying into the moon, and you can see that turned out to be a very nice top there on the British pound. Here's your euro. You rallied into the uh, moon and made a very nice top there. And here's the Japanese yen pulled down, made a little bit of a short-term low there for the yen. So we had 12 winners, three misses out of 15, 80% winners. That's pretty good. Uh, now what's coming up in the future here? Uh, just curious, are Larry, you still there or not? I think we lost Larry. Okay. Anyway, so uh, the, the night of the – here's what's coming up. Today is uh, – January 22nd, over this past weekend, today is a Monday, we just had a pretty big event here. We had geocentric, that's from the point of the Earth, the point of view of the Earth. We had Pluto entering the sign Aquarius. Pluto is a 248-year cycle, so it only changes signs one-twelfth of that roughly every about every 20 years. And so it did, uh, because of the geocentric motion from the point of view of the Earth, how the planets look like they move, they kind of, the outer planets, the slow moving ones, tend to look like they move two steps forward, one step back. So we did have Pluto initially go into Aquarius last year for a couple of months, and then it backed up again, that's your retrograde, into Capricorn. And so we had, but that's back again, and what confirms us now is that doesn't, or that phenomenon doesn't happen when you look at it from the point of view of the sun, that's heliocentric. And both of these points are both both Pluto, Geo, and Helio are entering Aquarius now. So we want to watch uh, cattle, cocoa, copper, because that's Aquarius, cotton, hogs, and T-bonds. Uh, if you call me, I'll explain why these other markets are also relevant. And the same thing here in a couple of days, the 22nd, that's this afternoon. 
we're going to again have heliocentric Pluto entering Aquarius. Uh, it's in, please note, Pluto is entering Aquarius, Geo and Helio for the first time in about 248 years. This should have major short-term and very long-term effects on designated markets. There you go. So then also tonight, this is the 22nd now, uh, we'll have a Mercury cycle, and that's for corn, soybeans, wheat. Please note that the stocks potentially respond to all events, okay? So even if I mention, even if I don't mention stocks, it probably, it's implied, okay? And then the night of the 23rd, we have Pluto to the U.S. chart. So U.S. stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. And then the afternoon of the 25th, we have a full moon in Leo. Larry was talking about a possible glow, a glow developing in the gold. And Leo is the gold sign. And this only occurs about once per year when we have the full moon in Leo. And so you notice that we have gold specified there, but we have major changes from financial to range, precious metals, oil, and emphasis on corn and gold. Then the night of the 26th, we have Jupiter, parallel latitude to the U.S. part of fortune, major change in trend stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar, that's Jupiter to the U.S. chart. And then the night of the 26th, we have Uranus turning direct. That's the opposite of retrograde. And we want to be watching cattle, copper, and cotton. Here are the charts I did not cover in the review. These are as of last night. So you want to update these charts. Look at these markets before you make any decision. Uh, we have cattle here was going up, up, up into our window. And we have cotton doing the same. Uh, you want to, ideally, we would like to see cotton today go up here and test this higher, maybe even go a little higher. Same thing on the cattle. And then we have uh, cocoa going up, up, up into our window here for the Pluto into Aquarius. And the, all these markets potentially uh, that are going up, up, up are making highs. And then hogs are just kind of going sideways. So looks like highly likely that this will be a pass. Uh, copper is kind of in the middle there. It depends upon what it did today. And when I last looked a little while ago, it was down a little bit. That's kind of a... Uh, maybe a, a bit of a nothing, you know. All right, so now another thing that I do, I only show this usually about once a year. I do, I show that I do fractals. Fractals are when you do, I'll get into this if you contact me, I'll give you a mini class. And it's the uh, same, the repeating pattern at different levels of order. And there's a way to do this on a simple method. If you Google fractals, it's a it's a it's a branch of chaos theory. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hello, everybody. We're back. Larry is uh, at a technical difficulty, so this is Norm Winsky. Pick it up for Larry here. So I was doing my presentation for the commercial. I'm going to continue now talking about fractals. Fractals are uh, taken from a theoretical physics a branch called chaos theory, and fractals are a branch of that. And what it is is repeating uh, a pattern at different levels of order. So, for example, a simple pattern, a simple example is one you find in nature, a pine tree. Look at a pine tree. The branches look like mini pine trees, and the little twigs look like miniature branches. So the pattern repeats at different levels of order. You can do this in the market. Uh, there's something called the January barometer. As January goes, so goes the year. I took that idea and, and turned it back before I even knew what a fractal was and started playing with that. And you can look up fractals on Google. I'll probably show you some calculus. I don't do calculus because I'm a math uh, <laughs> handicapped or whatever. And so I figured out a way to do this so a 10-year-old can do this. I can teach a 10-year-old to do this in about 10 minutes. So if you want to contact me, we'll talk about how you might be able to do that too. Anyway, I do these for about 28 markets every year. You need January's price data to do this. So I always publish in February this. Here's an example here with the results on top. Overlaid, as we go through the year, I overlay results. At the end of the year, I have a, the full results for all the 28 markets. And you see the blue bars were the forecast that was published in February of last year. You see that? And then the black bar is the actual S&P. I'm sorry, not S&P. In this case, whatever market it is, this is natural gas daily bars overlaid on top of the blue bar so you can see how that came out. I think that worked out pretty well. So that's a, one example of the 28 markets. Moving ahead now, uh, let's see, here's, uh, who, here's, here's who I am. I've been doing this a long time. I started trading in college in the early 70s. I'm 72 now. And I have got over 50 years experience and I made enough money while in college that I ended up buying a membership on the then fledgling Chicago Board Options Exchange in 1975. I was there for 12 years, and I also traded since they were in the we were in the Board of Trade building. I also uh, traded on the Board of Trade for a little while too. Okay, so moving ahead now, where here's how you get a hold of me. I'm uh, happy to help you answer your questions. I can uh, I studied a lot of these different methodologies. Gan, Elliot, uh, astrophysics, astrology. I have a background in music and so forth. So you might want to get a hold of me. Please get a hold of me right away. Get into the month here where I get really busy uh, putting together the next month's letters. And so here's how you get a hold of me. I'm in beautiful Naples, Florida now at 239-594-3939. That's 239-594-3939. Or you can call me on Skype at N-W-I-N-S-K-I at Yahoo.com. Looking forward to helping some of you folks there. And uh, everybody have a great day and a great week ahead. And hopefully I'll be back soon uh, to show you how all these forecasts came out. 
and hopefully I'll be helping you, everybody, real soon. All right, uh, I don't know what to do now because Larry's not here to pick up the end of the show, uh, and I don't know how to talk to the people there in the Tiger's Den. Uh, maybe our production guy, Al, can tell me <laughs> what to do now. I'm going to just, uh, I guess, sign off now. Here's my, here's again my uh, contact information. And uh, be sure you use this email address. Uh, this is my email address, too, nwinskyatyahoo.com. Or you can call me with the same email on the, using the same address. Or you can just call me if you're in the U.S. here at that number. All right, everybody, have a great day, a great week ahead. And I'll pass it back to Al there. Hopefully, you will, uh, hopefully Larry's going to get recharged and we'll be back with you soon. All right. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't for on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Ian, yep, there it is. Look, the same with chart as the uranium. So this is a D, and it's pulled back. This is in a cell signal, uh, Ethereum, uh, in the daily chart. I, by the end of the day, I might have even upgraded to a cell mode. All right. So now let's go back to where we were. We're looking at the IYT. And the IYT is saying, hey, I'm participating. I'm just not leading. But if the, the transportation index, anytime 
into the first week of February, he's able at what, 261, can actually go to 268 or 269. That would be really good action. Dow's up 182, S&P's up 12. We'll be right TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. FNN.com. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by...